Hello everyone and welcome again to CUAP, it's a gaming channel, trying to put some fun back into gaming. And as you can see, I've got some No Man's Sky gameplay for you today. Uh, I've done that fucking again. Sorry people, I keep on leaving my fucking headset thing on. I keep, I'm sick of fucking restarting it every time, so I've turned the fucking thing off. So I digress, back to it. So yeah, as you can see, welcome to the universe of No Man's Sky. Uh... First impressions, if you are a person who likes fast-paced games and isn't really into a loot-based system, I wouldn't bother. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. No, luckily, over the years, I've been getting myself a bit more into these type of things. So I don't really mind it. So, uh, yeah, basically, you wake up on this planet, as you can see... Things are broken, and the idea is you just, you just uh, explore the planet, discovering new things, collecting carbon and other isotopes and other bits and bobs, just to get all your stuff working again. So on the main, the main beginning one, you need one to repair your scanner, and you need one to repair like your uh, binoculars and that sort of stuff. So, right. It doesn't seem a bad game. Visually, it's not the best, but I've been saying they've designed it that way, so it's all about the gameplay. And as you can see, I'm walking around and stuff's being highlighted and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, this is stuff you need to collect. With it being out in the States yesterday, I got to see a few reviews. So I'm agreeing what they're saying. And basically, what they're saying is... It's perfectly fine. It is, actually. It's not too bad. I haven't had any problems with it so far. But the only thing is the loot base system itself. And what I mean by that is you don't have enough space in the inventory. Which I have been finding, actually. Uh, yeah. Many a time I've been going around hunting stuff. Just going to these locations, as you can see. And I'm running out of space. So... What I found is, when you get to these, uh, well, shelters, wherever it is, obviously you can buy weapons, but this is the main thing I've seen. With what you can do, you can actually buy and sell stuff you need, or if you've been collecting a lot of stuff and you've got far too much of it. So as you can see, you've got a fair amount of stuff, you've got all your basic elements which you need to repair, it's mainly your ship to start off with. Well, like I said, you've got to repair your scanner and you've got to repair your binos and what you do. Then you've got to repair your ship's engines and your ship's plasma drive and all the other, all the other bits and bobs just to get it up there. But what I found was I seemed to be collecting the wrong stuff. So what you need to do, you need to put a bit more thought into this. And what I mean by this... It's a game like Destiny, you can just run around, collect everything, and if you have too much of it, you just put it back into your vaults. And you can keep it there, you know what I mean? So if you do need it, you can go back to it. But I find with this, you're going to fit, put more, but especially because you've got such a small space to store stuff. Because I find when I was going into them type of places, I couldn't even trans transfer stuff from my ship to me because I was too far away. And stuff like that, and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. They'll probably fix that. If enough people have complained about it, obviously, it's going to do. But, yeah, as you can see, I've been walking around. I've been, and what I'm doing now, I'm actually searching out the stuff I need. I'm going, right, if I need plutonium, this is what I need. So, that's my advice for it. Look for what you need and go for that. You can go for other stuff, but you'll just fill your inventory too much. So... What you do, you can press L3 and it will bring up your scan like I did there and it will identify anything coming up. I said I've been struggling for helium for some reason so I had to buy that from the vendor. But also other things you can do while you're walking around, you can use your binocular things or when you come across animals, give them a scan. And if it's a new species you'll get credits for it so... It's a loot-based system where credit. So if you find it really hard to, to find something, you're going to buy it, like I said. So no, it doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't seem too bad. I ain't far off getting my ship up and running, actually. I only need a few. I think it's hydrogen. 
So, but like I said, I've been struggling to find it, so I'm probably going to have to go around collecting other stuff to go back to the shelter and uh, buy it from there. But these shelters are way save points as well, so you've got to go to them just to save your, your progress because there's nothing worse than going so far and not being able to do anything. So, as you can see, yeah, they're the animals I just scanned, and it comes up with all the information, and you get credit for it. So, yeah. Yeah, so only a quick one, people. Just give you a brief outline what it is. If you like a fast-paced game, I wouldn't bother. But if you like something quite in-depth where you're going to go around and search for stuff, this is the game for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.